right, so we are now in Brussels at Modula Summit, and here with you, Anna Tutova, who from the French Telegram, and uh, our guest, uh, Rush Manchu, who is uh, co-founder of Movement Lab, uh, is uh, uh, layer two, uh, KEDM layer two, uh, which uses basic language rule, and well, recently in April, they announced uh, the 38 million Series A rounds, uh, the back by Polychain and many other kind of ones. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to be on the talk. So, can you tell us about your background and yep. how did you first discover crypto, blockchain? How did you get involved in the industry? Yeah, so my background is in distributed systems. I started as an early engineer at United Health Group. I um, was really interested in cybersecurity and health insurance, actually. Um, around four years ago, I got into early cosmos ecosystem, was rust in um, Solidity Engineering. Um, in August 2022, I built the first DEX in Aptos. At this time, I was still in college. Um, and I wanted to, to essentially build in something new. I read this article that said Facebook was building a new programming language. And to me, that was very exciting because I've used only 10 users on Ethereum and five users on Cosmos. And here's an opportunity for us to have billions of users um, to Facebook. Um, November 2022, we took that off um, and wanted to bring MoveVM to Ethereum, where we could bring Facebook's technology to a novel uh, crypto environment. Um, so, November 2022, we started a movement to bring the MoveVM to Ethereum. Um, and today we have a vibrant ecosystem of rollups, apps, and move builders all working together. Uh, yeah, and as well, you are now preparing for your testnet in two weeks. So, yep. can you tell more about that? Yeah, we have testnet coming up in two weeks. We just launched our private testnet, so builders are building on top of it, kind of testing out experiments in the chain. And then the public testnet is how users and developers can kind of use the chain, break it, um, see if there's any issues come up. Um, but we're excited to have all the apps go live. We have around 20 apps going live um, on the first day of testnet, so excited to show that off. Um, and then push towards mainnet where we can be, bring the movie on to Ethereum finally. Are there any specific use cases? Uh, like, uh, can you tell more about the apps which are going live? Yeah, so some of them like Meridian and Echelon or DeFi and Lending, they both raise capital on the DeFi hubs, I would say. Um, and then beyond that, I would say, uh, I think we're looking for consumer apps, right? So we have Bracket, which is a fully on-chain predictions market. We have we send an up network, which is a mobile phone. So a little deep in project that sold 10,000 phones already in Kyoto uh, will be one of the biggest Japanese phones on the moving blockchain. And then from there, we're looking at consumer and social plays. Um, one of them I'm really excited about is Henry, which is a cashback platform. So when users buy on Amazon or eBay, they can earn points via the movement token and then um, use that for rewards. So um, a little bit of a mix of consumer, DeFi, and um, kind of everything. And there are two other layer ones on the uh, move language, uh, such as Aptos and Sui, as Aptos is well invested in this. Yep. So do you consider them more to be partners or are they competitors? I would say like everyone to extent is competitor. All L1s, all L2s, even restaking protocols, mm -hmm. fighting for attention. But Aptos is an investor, Sui is a great friend. Uh, I think we work together and bring move language together. So I would say we're all trying to make move great. Um, there might be some complications, but overall they're partners. And now we see as well, like more and more layer ones and uh, layer two is coming out, yep. like still huge uh, uh, round announcements. So, like, what's the future of these layer ones, layer twos? Uh, will there be a winner, like the popularity more of layer ones or layer twos in the future? How do you see that? It's like websites, right? You have a thousand websites come to market and only 10 really won. Same thing with crypto and blockchains. There'll be thousands of rollups come to market. Most 90% rollups will die. Um, and the only big five to 10 rollups that win. They'll probably have shared sequencers. So, like Amazon has a website and then all apps on websites on the website. Same thing with the rollup. You'll have a main flagship rollup and then a bunch of other rollups in the network and then one shared sequencer. Um, and there's only going to be two or three of those. Um, so, yeah, I think we're entering a point where infrastructure is kind of done and now we're moving towards apps, um, which is pretty exciting. And you as well use uh, Celestia for data availability. Yep. So, can you tell more about this? Yeah, so we're using Celestia to push DAA on. Um, any transaction call data is being sent to Celestia, um, and we're trying to advertise that and show off the benefits of high throughput execution on Celestia. Uh, what are your thoughts on other data availability uh, networks uh, like EigenLayer and Avail? We have a stack that supports multiple dealers, so if you want to launch your own move rollup, you can use the VM, use the OP stack, Orbit or Orbit stack, whatever, and use a dealer, um, and then launch your own custom high throughput rollups. Um, so we see not as a competitor to, like you can use the Veil, use Eigen with MoveStack, so I see those partners. And as well, can you tell more about the launch of your fork? It sounds a bit like you copied Solana with yeah. the launch of your own fork. It wasn't us, it was a team called Up Network that did it, so 
Um, we're not really involved in the production of it. It's just the. Okay, so it's not company yeah. on mobile. We yeah. just selected your network. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're not involved in the development of it, but they work out of our office. They're close friends, and um, we're just trying to help them along. But they're an independent company. Uh, so I read the article. There was recently something like about proof of activity yep. for different actions. Uh, yep. Phone. So can you tell more about that? I think what's interesting is that with the D-PIN and the mobile phone, we use our phones every day, and we're not getting rewarded for actions. Like we're spending eight to nine hours a day. Um, and not really getting anything out of that. So what if there's a world where you can get points, reward creators, all with the one device? It's pretty ambitious, but I think they can get it done. And are you getting as well your own phone? I will be getting my own moving phone. It's in the way from me in the office right now, so. And you as well uh, put big accents on the security. Yep. So can you tell how do you achieve that? Yeah, so security is the most important thing to me. Um, we kind of solve the speed thing, but how do you save four and a half billion in smart contract hacks? Um, so what we're doing is bringing this move VM environment to Ethereum. It has all the parallelization benefits, but importantly, we have formal verification, which for those that don't know is what you ch how you check code at runtime. Um, so with any smooth contract, we check for resource type memory safety. It is the most secure way to program, and we're bringing that to Ethereum. And as well from each app, have you been in the crypto industry? For how long? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd say four years. As, or mostly engineering, but we started moving two years ago now. And when did you uh, do you invest into crypto now? Yeah, I invest in crypto personally and on some angel investments. Um, yeah. Uh, so like uh, maybe you can share some of your coin picks uh, where do you invest? Yeah, I mean I mostly do ETH, Solana, BTC, nothing crazy. Um, I can't, don't really have time to trade, but big proponent of Solana, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And uh, do you have any thoughts uh, when you will see the peak of the bull market and for how long the bull market will last? I don't know. Uh, markets are kind of all over. I think September, October will be a great time after around the election, as well as a lot of the token launches planned. Um, so I think September, October will be a great time. Uh, do you have any investment strategy on your side? Uh, I think I'm not really a per doing a lot of look at stuff, just holding Ethereum and um, Solana and Bitcoin, but nothing beyond that. And now we see a lot of activities and excitement around new coins. Yep. Uh, so do you buy any new coins? I don't so buy any new coins. New coins launch the movement. We have meme coins, move in testnet. So it's like move meme coin, it's super cool. Um, but nothing, uh, I didn't invest in meme coins. Hmm. And well, what are the most exciting use cases uh, for you in uh, blockchain? I'd say DPIN is pretty big. Um, I was talking to an AI friend who um, just works in AI. And right now, the biggest issue he faces is to rent a GPU, it takes like a year, you have like the minimum amount of time, which is pretty expensive. With something like Kosh or Ionet, you can rent a GPU for 10 minutes, like fractional uh, um, GPU. But with Ionet, there was like a big stuff with Martin Crowley, so in reality, there was nobody uses Ionet. There may be a Kosh then. Um, <laughs> if you go to Kosh.com or whatever it's called, um, you can use a G GPU, which is super cool. Um, there's like High Mapper, which is fully on-chain um, kind of mapping services, and then Up Network itself is a mobile phone, so I think it'll be very exciting. Uh, well, can you share some upcoming plans besides Deathmatch? Yeah, I think the mainnet coming up and this like th Q3. I'm um, so excited to go to mainnet and then ecosystem raises. So a bunch of products in our ecosystem, like eight teams that raise capital. So excited to share that with the world. Cool. And as well, Wanda, do you plan to launch your token? I uh, can't say. It's still up in the air, so deciding, but um, soon. Okay, cool. Thank you for Thanks so sharing much. your thoughts and your plans with us. Great to have you. Thanks so much for the time.